Izaka Shamsuddin uses art to celebrate the beauty and excellence of Africans and African Americans in a way he never saw represented in books and movies growing up. I got a pride. I, I, I had to earn that pride by studying on my own, by digging. Uh, that's why so many African Americans and so many Africans were not linked. We don't feel the spiritual link because we don't know each other. Originally from Texas, the artist moved to Oregon in 1947. Shamsuddin's father, who was a farmer, survived being beaten by a white mob and left for dead, tied to a tree in Texas. His crime was that he refused to submit. His father was able to find work in construction and within six months, the entire family, wife and 10 children, moved to Vanport City, Oregon. It was a culturally diverse historic city used for wartime public housing and located in modern day North Portland. Less than a year after moving there, Vanport was flooded on Memorial Day 1948 and their new home was decimated. Uh, I saw a whole busload go down. I mean, because we could see the water was rushing down the street within an hour. Um, less than that. The only thing we were able to say was a little white radio. Shamsuddin was just seven years old. After moving to Ohio for a short period, the family eventually made its way back to Portland. This is my son, Isaac. This is what I mean about a sketch. This is Fats. These are some of the people that he influenced that attributed him as being what made them do what they do. It was in second grade that Sham Sadin first self-identified as an artist after doing illustrations on glass slides of the class book they were reading whose characters were all white. You know, but I was drawing, I just had the need to draw and, and do things and challenge myself and and then doubt that I could do this and then eventually get up the nerve to try. Shamsuddin won a local scholarship to a weekly Saturday children's art class at Portland Art Museum at age 13. By age 14, he won a prestigious nationwide scholarship for studying art at University of Kansas, where he studied over three summers in high school. The beauty, when I started concentrating on African and doing drawing and painting African Americans, was in the, right at the, uh, beginning of my uh, teenage years. He later studied anthropology in undergrad and received a master's degree in fine arts from Portland State University. Oh, that's your son right there? Yeah. Shamsuddin's research in anthropology included studying the cultures of African people, which he says informs his art. I have as my first audience um, African people and African American people. When I see who I want to communicate with and I, I want to share something about that you should be proud of, look at yourself, look at us. Danny Peterson, Coin6 News.